we are. I think eight guards is okay, though, as well, for, uh, for what we've got. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I think eight guards is okay for now. Maybe I have two in here, though, patrolling the uh, this area. We've got, always got a guard in there. We need always need a guard in the workshop, to be honest, as well. Why has that not got CCTV? More monitors. Where's the monitor? Where's the? Where's he gone? He's meant to be. Oh, he's going to it. Okay. So we've got two free guards. That's what that two out of eight means. And he's going to be stationed in here. Make sure they're not doing anything too naughty, stealing anything. Oh, I've actually got eleven monitors as well. Yikes! We don't need that many monitors at all. Let's go to that one. Oh no! Just dismantle. We don't dump it. And what else do we need? We need um, to get rid of another one. I don't know which other one I should get rid of. Maybe this one here. But that's looking in there, so we don't really want that. To get rid of that, rather. Let's get rid of this one. Dismantle it. Okay, looks like we are all good. Like, wow, look at this. We have actually built a very, very lovely prison there. I'm pretty happy with that, as everyone gets filtered in. I wonder who got the uh, grand... The grand cell, actually. Let's just speed up a bit of time. I want to get, want to get to, uh, to bedtime, and we can see who, uh, who got in there. Let's probably hire another couple of guards. Actually, I know we're losing quite a lot of money. Hey, grant completion as well. One staff member's are, is exhausted. Who's exhausted? <laughs> I wonder who that is. That's exhausted. One staff member's exhausted. Probably leave that there now, actually, as well, can't we? I know it's in the way a little bit, but... Build a small prison. I don't get that. What is that? What does that mean? Oh, I think it means make enough money, maybe? Oh, God! What are the complaints? We're getting a bit of a bit of problem here. Oh, he's been searched. Oh, God, he's got a weapon on him! Or a tool. Let's see what the needs are. Oh, okay, everyone's hungry. They need family time. It's because they haven't had any free time yet today, I think. I think I've had free time. Do you know what I should do? I reckon I should make only one hour there and here and then have a massive meal in the evening so they can eat now and now if they want, basically, because it's free time. Or maybe eat and then free time. Yeah. That would be better. Then the food will be prepared for them and ready for them, anyway. Okay, so it looks like still, we've still got a few complaints. He's got something. Uh-oh, or she. He? Warren Weiner. Warren Weiner's got something. The dog is sniffing. Oh, no, he hasn't got anything. How weird. He got sniffed, but nothing happened. They're all getting searched. A lot of these prisoners seem to have brought stuff into the prison, which is a little bit worrying. Not ideal at all. Let's just deploy some more staff, because I don't, I don't like the way they're all congregating in this room. Let's get one in there. One in there. Oh yes, we've got one staff everywhere, which is nice, which is necessary. So we've got a bit of free time now. Hopefully this will see there. Jesus Christ, they're not very happy at all. Needs. I wonder why they're so unhappy. Comfort and environment. What's up with the environment? Oh, it's because it's dirty. I think. Let's get another janitor. It's going down there now, which is good. Decreasing, good. Okay. So hopefully now they're having a bit of yard time and stuff, hopefully we can uh, get these problems sorted out, to be honest, because uh, freedom as well, I didn't realise that was a, that must be a new one. Hygiene and sleep are things that are going to be sorted out soon. And don't forget, there's actually a little top tip for you, if you want to open one of their doors for them, and you can by clicking on it with a right click, basically, look like that, and you can open the doors for them, so you can do that. It's noisy there, Jesus. Oh, look at them all. And this, of this is the main way of making money in any prison, really. It's uh, hugely important. They look like they're... Uh, that's loud. They look like they're trimming their balls a bit, but they're not. They're actually making license plates with the workshop press. So it's uh, terribly, terribly good, and it makes you a lot of money. Your money will come through at the end of the day at midnight. So, I mean, they'll finish their shift soon, I think. One more hour of work to go, guys. Steady low, low's okay, as long as we keep it two or three, um, two or three exclamation marks, and that danger's okay. We don't mind it. He's still patrolling, which is great. 
probably leave, leave that open as well, actually, you know? Just thinking, we can leave that open. It's electric cable doing that. Yeah, we'll leave that open. Okay, that's good. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this prison, to be honest. I just want to see who's got this, uh, this cell, because someone obviously has. Well, actually, not necessarily. We have got a toilet in there. Why haven't we got a toilet? Very, very silly indeed. Why is there no toilet there? I I completely forgot to do that one. And there we are. Get to work, guys. And then we've got room for another five prisoners. So, or if we expand it down here, then I'm sure we'd get even more than that as well. Let's also build a nice way out for the kennel staff as well. That'll be good. So he's getting tired, you see. We're getting a lot of tired people. Just worrying. I wonder if anyone's using this. Yeah, they are. Look. <laughs> Look at them wandering about getting their energy up. And that green bar there must be their energy, I assume. Who are you, the foreman? I wonder if we've got to do any more uh, bureaucracy or if we've got it all now. Yeah, looks like we have. Brilliant. Oh, looks like sounds like someone. Oh, no, someone is searching. Someone is searching. He's been compliant, though, so that's always good. He's waiting, waiting to be searched. Come on, guys, where are you? You don't know who you're messing with. You hear him talking? Found a spoon. And another spoon. So obviously, someone is looking to dig out this prison, which is a little bit worrying. So, uh, that is something that we're going to have to do at some point, is make sure that we've got enough, uh, enough safety. Oh, no one's got the Grand Dream yet, but the look of it, unless one of these two has. No? No? No one's got it? Still up for grabs by someone. Some lucky beggar. So let's build some more foundations here. What I want to do is expand out as much as I can, really. There we are, yeah. That'll do. And then probably build all the way up here as well. Yeah. So they have to be f one, two, three, four, five wide. So if I do seven. Yeah. Build all the way up here. That'll do for now. I don't want to buy too much unnecessarily. But that'll be great, and look, there's, there's our money that's come through, and we've got 210 from license plates plus 30, so 240 from license plates, it's not the best in the world, but once they've started working a bit more, then uh, we'll get a lot more money from them, to be honest, so it's going to be it's gonna be a lot better. He is in lockdown, look, is he? He's in lockdown. Looks like he is. And we want to change this patrol here. Get rid of this patrol. We want to have it going along here, along here, and then all the way along here. Because what the, the idea of having a dog patrol outside is that you can catch people that are trying to dig their way out, basically. So if we have a, you know, a patrol going all the way around, then what they can do is they can smell, they can sniff out people that are trying to. Uh, Try to dig the dig tunnels and they can get rid of it. So there we are, build a wall, build a wall, because these aren't cells anymore. Whoops! <laughs> and then Build a wall along there. What the hell is that? Wood. What the hell is wood doing there? It's a bit strange. Um, and then these, yeah, these are perfect, because these are gonna be exactly the right length now, because they're gonna be three along, aren't they? Yeah. That's great, so two by three, two by three, let's see how many more cells we can squeeze in here. And hopefully, actually, we'll probably open that door, oh, there's a big cell there as well. An extra big cell again. And then we can, see how many we can fit in here. Two by three, 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 look at that, oh yeah, Jimbo is on this. And we can build some jail doors. They're all getting stuck again because they're just bloody stupid and they don't start on, from the place that they, you know, the most logical way. Which is incredibly annoying. And our danger is bottom. Look at that. See, I told you I knew how to build a good prison. I was starting to doubt myself when this, uh, this danger meter was going up. But I told you. I did tell you. Then we, uh, yeah, we're going to increase our capacity quite significantly. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm probably going to open our doors, actually. Because then we'll get 11 more prisoners arriving. Very, very shortly. 
That's in about 25 minutes. I'll probably need to hire a couple of guards, actually, because we're going to have uh, four, four more guards, because no, well, we're going to have uh, 22, 24 prisoners. So it's going to be, we're going to have to be careful on this one. And then cells, they're all cells. It's a cell. It's a cell. It's a cell. There we are. And then we want to stop pop popping toilets in. And we're going to try and pop some tags. And then we want $20 in our pocket. There we are, pop those all down, put the beds in. You know, I'm feeling pretty good about this prison, to be honest. Jimmy Towers, as it is immortally known. The great Jimmy Towers. It's doing pretty well for itself. Uh, let's have this coming down here. And then along there, up here. And we want probably another big pipe coming down here as well. We've got to be careful with these big pipes. Of course, as I explained last episode, prisoners can use big pipes to... Uh-oh. Uh Phew, it's all to save me. I was wondering what was happening there. Prisoners can use big pipes to uh, dig their way out, so we've got to be careful. Like, a sure stank. Sure stank? Sure sank. Sure shank. Redemption style. What I'm trying to say. There we are. Some pipes coming to the toilets. Looks like our prisoner capacity has risen by one, so hopefully we can keep it going up, which would be great. And once we've got all these pipes in, then we should be uh, pretty good to go, to be honest, because I think that'll be prison donezo. And what, of course, with more uh, more prisoners comes more workforce, so we need to start hiring, uh, and we start assigning more people. Uh, jobs, 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 where is it? There. I want much more people doing cleaning, to be honest, because it's a very dirty prison. There we are. So we've got a lot more staff, which is great. Probably going to close our prison doors for a little while now, because we're a pretty decent sized prison. We've got to, we've got to expand. When we expand, we've got to expand um, in a logical way and not... Oh, what was that? Not in a way that puts too much strain on us too quickly. Got to be careful about that, dismantle that one. Put the CCTV in there. Dismantled one. Dismantle that bin. Just move it. Which was an easy way to move a bin, uh, like objects, even not just necessarily bins, but but everything. There just doesn't seem to be an easy way to do anything at the moment. Just a bit frustrating. Never mind. And of course, we need to redeploy our staff as well because there we are. Have four. I think we have four in there. Yeah, we will. Great. Pretty happy. Look at that. We've got them watching them in solitary. Oh, I think someone just went into solitary. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, he's... We have got a lot. I'm a bit worried about this. Do you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to frisk everyone. Because... It's not the best, is it? It's not ideal. <laughs> he's pulling... Look at him pulling that dog. Look how long his lead is. He's like, come on, I want a break. He must be tired. Oh, the dog's tired. Oh, the dog's tired. He's like <laughs> dragging the dog to its kennel. Look at these guys all milling around. Not doing anything. Oh, he's working out. He's working out. I wonder if we've got any of the. Uh... Oh, we have, yeah. JD was charged with credit card fraud, identity theft, and even more counts as a result of an online scam. He was going to get a plea bargain that's included the service. However, a Paris song was discovered on his computer. <laughs> now he's been done for violent disorder. Because, um, yeah, because all the people that bought into the. Uh... <laughs> this is another one, Ryan Sumo. All the people that bought into the Alpha got to name prisoners themselves. And so, uh, got to name them, write a little biography. So you can tell the ones that, are, that people have bought because they haven't got this. They've got a whole description, like those other two that we saw. After someone had killed and dishonored Yarmax, his family, he and his, eh? Dishonored Yarmax, his family. He and his brother went on to a rampage to kill people responsible for the murder. And Yarmax was found together with his brother after the murder on the killer, his family. That is the worst English I've ever said I've seen in my whole life. But yeah, as you can see, that's people that have written their own little biographies themselves, which is pretty cool. Come on, guys, we need more more rooms. Oh, we have got enough rooms. We've got 24 rooms, which is perfect. So we have got enough rooms for the prisoners in our prison at the moment, so that's great. So we're pretty happy about that. So when they go to bed tonight, at least they'll have a bed to sleep in, which is good, even if they haven't got a uh, toilet with water. But, you know, they're doing it. They're beavering away. 
And then we want to start focusing on uh, grass, grass, grass. We need to put grass in. It's very important. And then we need to start focusing on um, putting. I was going to say, I was going to say, putting big wall around the perimeter at some point. But I don't know if we can afford that at the moment because they are very expensive. These walls. Where are they? Look, perimeter wall, 200 per square. Absolutely insane. They're also huge as well. I don't know if they can even fit around this bit. I might have made a bit of a boo-boo here. We might have to buy this bit of land here. Yikes. Oh, my dear, he's found something else. Do you know what? I'll tell you what we're going to do. It's free time. We're going to have a frisk. We're going to frisk our prison. And then we're going to... Uh... How do I have a lockdown? Shakedown. Shakedown! We're shaking down the whole prison. Found five spoons already. That's bad. Look at that. We're shaking down the prison. It's fine. Shakedown is a button that you do, as you can probably see, when people, when you suspect there's a lot of contraband in your prison, which ex there is exactly uh, in ours. It's a lot. Jesus Christ. You can just get them, the guards automatically, just one click of a button to check everything. So that's exactly what we're doing now. We found, you know, nine things. That's a lot of stuff. Ten things. Jesus Christ. I'm so glad we had the shakedown. But it, the only... I mean, you might be saying, yeah, it's, well, why don't you just do it all the time? It makes your prisoners pretty pissed off, basically. The people that haven't got anything are like, why are you searching me? So, that is exactly why we are... Uh, we're frisking them. So there might be lots of things. You might also be asking what are these dogs doing? These dogs, basically, they patrol around, and when someone goes past them... Look like then, you see that little icon? They get sniffed. And they can sniff for narcotics and all sorts of things. All sorts of bad stuff. So that's great. God, uh oh, what's happening? Something bad's happening. This guy, this guy is just trying to escape. Oh my god, the wall's gone. Oh my god, the wall has gone. The wall has gone. Lock down and bang up. Come on, everyone. Oh my god, I forgot that by putting that in, it, it was going to take out. Oh my god. Completely my fault. We've got an escapee, he's escaped. We've had an escapee. Okay. Now oh, he's escaping. Was he released? Oh, no, he's been released. Okay. Why is everyone fighting? Why? Tensions are getting high, gang. Tensions are getting very high indeed. Okay, bedtime, everyone. <laughs> God, so tense. Look at old Kenway. He's is now the guy in, I think he's called, uh, in Assassin's Creed. Matt Kenway, in the finest prison in the land, wearing his handcuffs still. What a guy. What a guy. God, get this bloody fence built. Christ alive. Wow, well, that has been a thoroughly, thoroughly exciting couple of episodes. I'm just finding out where the yard is, so I can span the yard out a bit. There we are. Thank you very much for joining me on this adventure. I hope you have enjoyed these couple of episodes. It has been a great fun. I'm going to continue. We're going to keep expanding our prison. We want to get to about 100 prisons, I think, is our goal. And have a sort of successfully running prison. I mean, this kind of is, but I keep making little cock-ups like that. Little balls-ups, which are uh, not helping matters. <laughs> like that one, letting them all escape. So, we will uh, we'll return to this very, very soon. I uh, hope you uh, stick with it. I hope you enjoy. Uh, give it a like, subscribe if you did. But thank you very much for visiting Jimmy Towers today. You are free to go until the next episode. Thank you. I've been Jimmy Ward. Goodbye.